Welcome in to HCAM Sports Talk. On this show, we recap the Hopkinton Hillers 2022-2023 fall sports season throughout the entire hour. So sit back and enjoy some terrific highlights from this fall season of Hopkinton Hillers Sports. On September 6th, the fall season opened with Hiller Boys Soccer taking on Norwood in the pouring rain. Hopkinton opened the season in style, taking down the Mustangs of Norwood 5-1. to one. Later that evening, Hiller Girls Volleyball battled Bishop Fian, and a big crowd was in attendance. Steve Sweetapple and Matt Clancy on the call. Hebert, Fallon, Graber sends that one to the back row. Go outside. That's long. long. Hopkinson takes the first set 25 to 19. Good serve, nice ace. Skalti just tormenting the Hillers. The girls are gonna switch sides. Hopkinton loses that set. 17-25. Kyrie serving, four point lead for the Hillers. Still set point. Barraza. Come on, Clara. Marabito, oh, well done. Well, Skalti, that's Carey. Yeah, yeah, that's Perry, it. Yeah. Hopkinton takes the third set. 25 to 20. The girls are going to. Got it over. Didn't play. Oh, got a free ball. Oh, come on, girls. Sienna. Bump set. Come on, Clara. Clara. Outside to Forbes, cross court. Hebert's there. Hardenbrook, Graber. That's it! Let's go! 25 22. Hopkinson Woo! takes the fourth set for a 3 1 victory. Hillers took the win in the debut of their new head coach, Emily Sweetapple, 3 1. On September 7th, Hiller Golf improved to 3 0 with a 235 239 win over Dover Sherborne. Hillers Field Hockey also had their first game on Wednesday, September 7th versus Norwood. In the first quarter, both teams exchanged goals. She comes up midfield. Breezing by defenders. Sends it towards the box. Centering pass out in front. And there's a shot and a score! Aaron Halloran puts it in for the Hillers. It remained a 1-1 game heading into the third quarter. You get take away there by Strachey. Norwood gets it into the box out in front. There's a shot, deflected, loose ball. I don't think the keeper can find it, comes loose again. Good battle for it and it's popped in. I believe that was Bridget Conley who was able to knock it in. Morris Souza will send it up. That's too bad, that was a great pass by Souza earlier to Perlov. A little bit of contact and Perlov ties it up. Camille Perlov with a beauty of a shot. Both teams exchanged goals in the third quarter. And the score would remain 2-2 two to two as the Hillers pick up a point in their first game of the season. On Friday, September 9th, Hiller Boys Soccer fell to Holliston 4-1 to one at the turf fields. The loss knocked the Hillers down to 1-1 one one on the season. Girls Soccer picked up a road win over Holliston on Friday, September 9th in their first game of the season, 4-2. A great start for Coach Skiba and crew. Also that Friday, Hiller Field Hockey battled Holliston on the turf. It was scoreless until the second quarter. Sent over. Another throw. There's a shot. Kicked away. 
And there is a ringer! First nine. Into the circle, shot, it's in! And we're knotted up at one apiece, Moave Garvey with the goal. It remained a 1-1 game until the fourth quarter. Perloff. Sends it up. Backhander kicked away. Perloff on the secondary shot, it's in! Kylie Locke with the initial shot. Good save by the keeper, but Perlov is there to make it a two to one Hiller's lead. Camille Perlov scores both goals as Hiller field hockey improves to one win and a tie on the season. The Hillers collect three points in their opening week. Hiller football started off their season with a big road win over Wayland. They took the season opening game 16 to six. Paul Litcher found Sam Pantera for the go-ahead touchdown in the third quarter and some stellar defense propelled the Hillers above Wayland. Here in this opening quarter as Avery Ravitch tees it up and we are just about ready to go. Crowd is pumped, a full house here tonight. The student section is back, they are ready. Wally, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Hillers football on HCAM. First home game of the season, here we go. And it's a liner up the gut, and it'll be taken from the five yard line over to the far side. Dylan Terra, the captain, with a return up to about the 20. Third and about six here. That's where the Hillers need to step up, get uh, Algonquin off the field right away. Takes the snap, and he's going to roll to his right under pressure. Throws up the oh. sideline, it's batted, nearly intercepted. An incomplete pass, getting the hand on it was Charlie Petruni. One back to receive for the Hillers. Yeah, not a great snap, but he gets a good roll on that on that punt. Yeah, real Algonquin roll, it's going to go all the way down to the, to the 15. Petruni lets it roll, and we'll see the Hillers offense for the first time this season. And not a long possession at all. Exact, it was actually exactly one minute. That's just what I thought. End over end, and it's taken Short from the Short punt, good coverage. Certainly was, and out of the gun, uh, back to his left. Trips receivers to his left. Yeah, stacked up on the left in a bunch formation. Takes the snap, and he's going to take it himself. Here he goes towards the first down, and more up the sideline before he's finally brought out of bounds at around the 25. And they will hand it off to the left back. Up the middle he goes. Pemberton says line. it's a touchdown, but the referee, yeah, there it is. Yep, they give him the touchdown, a three-yard touchdown run. Dylan Terra have been good against the run. They were good against the run last season, but... Certainly these hurry up offenses gave him trouble at times. As this will sail end over end, their side to about the 30, and here's the return up oh, the middle. There he goes. It's going to be a big one. There he goes, he's Breaking going all the way. Sandal. All the way. Here he goes to the 20, the 10, and into it's the a touchdown. end zone. That's a Hiller touchdown, what a response. John Sander, the junior. That was 16 seconds of possession time. <laughs> snap, extra point, end over end. Right through goes Ravage. It's seven to six. Hillers take the lead at 4:54. Left to go in the first quarter, and that is going to be the last play of the quarter. So some ups and downs in this first quarter. Hurry up and they're just going right between the tackles. It's really successful. And this time it's going to be play action, rolling to his left and ran out of bounds at around the 10 is Pemberton. 10 seconds left, clock still moving. And this time the Hiller's defense is going to come up a little Short on the stop, they thought they had the stop. So Dylan Terra gets the job done and gets into the end zone. Pemberton under center, run up the middle. Did he get in? 
Looks like he might have been short. He stopped no, him. No, he did not. He stopped him. So it will remain a 12-7 game line. Looked like that was Noah Butoni on the kick that time, and it's going to be returned up to about the 38 on the return with Seamus Murphy. But the Hillers are not even going to have enough time to run a play. That is going to do it for the first half at the end of the first two quarters. It is Algonquin 12, Hopkinton 7. Line it up. Will they punt or will they try something tricky? They're going to try something tricky and it's not going to pay off. They handed it to Owen Elworth and he was dragged down by Colby Lavalette. And it'll be a turnover on down. Yeah, and he lost five or six yards on that play. The snap looks to his right. And now going to take it himself. See some space up the left side to midfield. To the 45, oh, the 40, 35, to 30. And he's pushed out of bounds at around the 25. A big pickup by Robert Litcher. And he will throw the screen over to Petruni. And Petruni fighting his way towards the goal line. And it looks like he's going to be stopped just short. But the Hiller is in business. They'll start off the fourth quarter at the one yard line with a chance for the go ahead touchdown. And they spread it out here this time. Yeah, and they're going to put Litcher out of the pistol. He'll roll to his right, throws to his right, and it's complete. Sam Pantera on the one-yard touchdown reception, and the Hillers have taken the lead. That's a great play. The two-point conversion. Litcher out of the pistol, takes the snap. Rolls to his left, throws up the middle, wide open. Guess who? Yep. Sam Pantera. And that will make it a three-point game. Second and goal from about the five. That is Mulcairn in at quarterback. Wishbone backfield, hands it off, off the middle, and into the end zone goes Owen Elworth. It lasted quite a while for Algonquin. They're gonna go for two. It's going to be a pitch to the right it's side. It's dropped and recovered by a Hiller, so the conversion is unsuccessful. Litcher looking up the middle, and he connects. He finds Petruni. Up the far side he goes, and he is dragged out of bounds at around the 28-27 yard line. A big pickup right off the bat. Litcher lined up out of the gun. Carazza in the backfield. They will run it. Back goes Litcher, throws to his right. He's got, it. He's got it. At the 10. Here he goes. Touchdown. Into the end zone. Touchdown. Sam Pantera. A 21 yard touchdown reception. Unbelievable. The snap, the kick. And it is good. Hillers take the four point lead 22 to 18. They need a score here on this drive if they want to win this game as the Hillers lead it by four. Out of the pistol, a throw up the middle, it's intercepted! Picked off! And on the interception, that was Carlos Linton who has had huge defensive plays tonight. Definitely a not give up uh, win, you know, win for them tonight. They, they, like I said, they looked like they weren't in it, especially at the end of the first half. They didn't look like they were going to be able to stop Algonquin, and they, and they come out and win the game. A tremendous win by the Hopkinton Hillers as it was 15 fourth quarter points. That does it. And they take down Algonquin 22 to 18. Hiller girls soccer took on Ashland on Monday, September 12th. The scoring got started in the first half. Good defense by the Hillers. Up the near side. Sent over. Keeper gonna come way out, open net. Looking for the shot, takes it and makes it! Joanna DuPont makes it one nothing Hillers.
sneak it through, Dever. Here comes Ashland, look out. Hurlahai comes out and it's put in, Kobe Lima. Another instance where the keeper decides to come out, way out, and the forward able to get by her, and it's a one-to-one -one game. Mina sends it over. Here comes Madison Recupero, look out, she's got moves. Leaves it behind for Georgina, charging in, shot, goal! What a feed and what a score for the Hillers! A two to one Hopkinton lead heading into the second half. They added on. Getting in there, Nina. Zaganita sends it over to Pont. Takes a shot and rips it in! Joanna DuPont with another goal, her second of the day. Joanna DuPont, that's her second goal of the day, and the Hillers take the three to one win over Ashland and improve to two and O on the season. Hillers field hockey took on Westwood under the lights Wednesday night. After a scoreless first half, Westwood racked up four goals in the second half. Sent out in front, there's a shot and it's in. Wave Foley sends it to Ashley Brerin who pops it in. It's 1-0 Westwood. And they would take the win 4-0. Hillers fell to 1-2-1 one, one on the season. Westwood improved to 3-1. On Friday, September 16th, Hiller Boys Soccer battled Westwood. Despite some good pressure by both teams and some good shots on net, the game ended in a 0-0 draw. Both teams picked up a standings point. Hillers are now two wins, one loss, one tie on the season. Westwood is now one win, one loss, three ties on the season. Hiller girls varsity volleyball took on Westwood that night. Steve Sweetapple and Matt Clancy on the call. Olympia Dysonroth checking in in the front row. Sarah Pesson back to serve for the Hillers. Over, gonna be tough. And Hopkinton takes set number one, 29-27. And that's Lane Fennell back to serve for Westwood. Gets it over, Hebert is there. Coop, bump set, gonna be tough for Hardenbrook who does just get it over. Set from Fennell. And Hardenbrook keeps it in. Can Abby keep what a play by Abby Hebert? Fennel with the set. Swing by Karen Jacobs is controlled by Olivia in the back row. Back to Hardenbrook for the swing. Another great dig by Westwood. Jacobs swings it over again. Peraz is there in the back row. Coop with the set for Annabelle. Falling over to the side. Controlled by Stokes. Fennel with the set. Blocked at the net. Sarah jumped, took it over. That's going to be trouble for Westwood. Ooh, I don't, might have been a fourth hit there, couldn't tell. Coop with a set over the side for Annabelle. Swings, Fennel with another set for Jacobs. Point for Hopkinton, and that will be the set. That was four hits. Up. Let's see if Sarah can close things out. Rocket serve over the net, controlled by Buscone. Easton set to McManus, almost blocked in that arm bar. Olivia calls everybody off, gets it over. Controlled by Westwood Fennel with the set to McManus. Big swing and long, and that will do it, folks. Hopkinton takes the third set, 25-17. They sweep Westwood. The Hillers take a well-needed win via a 3-0 sweep. Hopkinton improved to 2-3 and three on the season. On Monday, September 19th, Hiller girls soccer lost a rainy game versus Medfield four to one. It was the Hillers' first loss of the season. They fell to two wins, one loss, and one tie overall. Also that Monday, Hiller boys soccer took the road win in Medfield two to one. Hopkinton improved to two, one, and one with the victory. 
Hiller Field Hockey also captured a 4-3 win in Medfield and improved to 2-2-2 two, two two on the season. Hiller Boys Soccer were on the road to take on Dover Sherborne on Thursday, September 22nd. They took the 5-2 win and improved to 4-1-1. One one. Dover Sherborne fell to 3-3. Three and three. Hiller's Girls Soccer hosted Dover Sherborne. The Hillers captured a 3-0 shutout win and got back in the win column, improving to 3-1-1. One one. Dover Sherborne fell to 2-3-1. Hiller Girls Volleyball hosted Shrewsbury Thursday night. They fought hard, but fell to the Colonials of Shrewsbury three sets to one. Hiller Field Hockey hosted Dedham on Friday, September 23rd. It was a scoreless game into the second quarter. Sent over Perloff. As my papers blow all over the place, puts it in. Look at that. Nice goal there by the Hillers. Camille Perloff makes it one to nothing. Off the penalty corner. Camille Perlov nets a goal, and the Hillers were clinging on to a 1-0 lead in the fourth quarter. No time left on the clock, but Dedham had a penalty corner opportunity. Here we go. Or if there's a turnover, rather. There has to be a turnover. And it is kicked away, and the Hillers hang on for the one to nothing win. The defense got the job done today and the Hillers dealt with all the pressure they could handle as Dedham in that second half just kept coming at them. A great game between two very good teams. Great saves by Madison Hadley and tremendous defense allows the Hillers to hang on and win the game one to nothing. The Hillers improved to three wins, two ties, and two losses on the season. Dedham falls to two wins, two losses, and one tie. Hiller Girls Volleyball hosted Dedham on Friday. Steve Sweetapple and Matt Clancy on the call. Side out for the Marauders. McNamara back to serve. Olivia handles that. Cube picks it off the net. Kept alive by Emily. Nice play from Katie. Hebert's there. Cooper, back set, Hardenbrook. And that's it. Hopkinson takes the first set, 25 to 13. Close this out, Abby. First ball, first ball, ooh. Hardenbrook. Hebert, Cooper, outside. Oh, gives, yep, tipped. Good swing. That's it. Hopkinson takes the second set, 25-17. Girls are going to switch sides. Take that first one. There you go. Well done, ladies. Serve. Dedham handles it well though. Sienna, Kelly, Adriana just rolls it. Into rotation now. Adriana has to roll it again. It works. And we're at match point. Poulette's there. And that's it. Hopkinton takes the third set 25 to 23 for a 3-0 sweep. The Hillers take down Dedham via a sweep. 
Dedham falls to two and six. The Hillers improve to four and three on the season. On Saturday, September 24th, the Hopkinton Hillers varsity football team was in Westboro for their third game of the season. The Hillers took down the Rangers of Westboro 39 to 13. Hillers football now stands at three wins and no losses on the season. Uh, yeah, looks like a great night under the lights. A whiteout game for the crowd. Everybody's in white for the Hiller fans, which is exciting. And uh, Hopkins is about to kick off, going right to left across your screen to Foxborough. Hopkinton Hillers under the Friday night lights against the Foxborough Warriors. Avery Ravich has it teed up, set to kick off, and we are ready for Friday night football on HCAM. And Ravich sends it flying back to about the 15 yard line, and here is the return up the middle 35 40, 45 to midfield to the near side. Push out of bounds in Hiller's territory at about the 45, and that was Lincoln Moore, the junior, with a good return. Five is Foxborough right back up to the line, moving quickly. Here on this first possession, Maricela out of the gun. Two back set once again, he'll hand it off. And this time brought down for a loss is O'Grady. Bringing him to the ground is the captain, Justin Sokol. They are ready to go, Maricela. And they're spread out with plenty of receivers out there. Four receivers, two, three wide left and one right, wide right. Marcello with a back to his right, out of the gun, takes the snap, looks to his left, throws up field, and it's incomplete. Just a little bit high. And that was intended for Eddie Feldman, the junior. Good defense by the Hillers. Yeah, and they'll take over a good field position here. Outside in the backfield. Two receivers spread out to either side. Takes the snap, looking up field, under pressure, rolls to his left, going to launch it up the middle, and oh. it is dropped by his intended target, Paul Litcher. Oh, Avery Ravich is out to punt it away, a pair back to return for Foxborough. The snap, a bit high, pulls it down, gets it away, and it's going to sail back to about the 30, and then take a big Hopkinton roll, all the way to about the 10 yard line. Takes the snap, looking to his left, under pressure, and he's brought down for a six yard loss. In on the tackle, that is number 44, Brandon Mazenkis O'Grady. Tough sack there, P the pocket completely collapsed on him. Tried to scramble out of there, but, but just couldn't get out of the grasp of the, of, of the defender. And the secondary also helps with that. There was no one open downfield from the sea. Well, that wraps up the first quarter. A scoreless game after quarter number one. Three receivers spread out to his left. Takes the snap, looking to his left. Throws to his left, and it's caught. That is Sam Pantera, who hauls it in at around the 30 and takes it for a couple yards to about the 28. Mitcher with an empty back set. And he's going to take the snap, looks to his left, oh, throws to it, wide open. wide open, wide open, and caught by Sam Pantera. And he's right on the one yard line, it looks like. Litcher out of the gun once again, Carazza in the backfield. Motion from left to right, takes the snap, he'll pitch it to Carazza, here he goes, sweeping up the right he's side. He's out of room. Can he get a, across? Oh, he's pushing, he's still, still pushing. pushing. Oh, and a there flag. is a flag. A That's late a late flag. flag. Yep, so they're going to move it back. This is going to be about a 30-yard field goal. Let's see if the Hillers can get on the board. Snap the kick. Low. And it That's is good. good. Hillers are on the board. Marcel lines it up out of the gun. Three receivers spread out to his right. Takes the snap, throws to his right. And it's intercepted. Picked off. And that is Braden Hicks. Up the far sideline he goes. And he's knocked out of bounds at around the 45. Richard out of the gun. Takes the snap. Throws to his right. And it Great is catch. caught. Great by catch Charlie by Petruni. Petruni. 
Litcher takes the snap. He's got Rolls to his left Get, under he's pressure. Get rid of it. Throws it up and it is knocked down. And was that intercepted? Defender caught it, but I think he was out of bounds. So it was incomplete, but that's the end of the half. No time left on the clock. Line it up. Out of the gun with Karatz in the backfield. Takes the snap, and this time he's going to pass. Throws to his left, and it's intercepted. A big interception at the 30-yard line by Jaden Jean, the sophomore. Biggest pressure situation they had to face. Out of the eye once again. Angelini getting the call. Trying to burst through, and he found some space that time. Close to the first down marker. From 19 or 20 out of the 20. Well, here goes Foxborough picking up little pieces. Angelini again, this time taking it outside. And he will get close to the 15 before being brought out of bounds. Going to go I formation once again. It's working, why not? And this time it's the fullback getting the call. And he fought his way forward for a couple. As the third quarter comes to an end. We will switch sides and pick up with what looks like a promising drive for the Foxborough Warriors. Yeah. And they got that eye formation in the backfield once again, run up the oh, middle, push, and it looks like push. he might have got in. Let's see. Foxborough is celebrating. There's the call by the officials. And there it is. Foxborough is on the board. They were able to capitalize. And that was all off that interception by Jaden Jean. The snap and the kick. And over end, and it sails through. And Foxborough takes the 7-3 lead. High formation. And oh. this time, Soko is ready for it as he drags Angelini down for a loss. Great play. How oh, the hell is play this? Aracella out of the gun, takes the snap. And he throws to his right, nearly intercepted by guess who? Justin Sokol, what a knockdown. He was right through the line again. First man back there, stuck out his hand, just knocked that straight down. Looks to his right, and he'll throw to his right, and it's intercepted. It was batted by one defender, Peyton Francis, and picked off by Jaden Jean, who has his second interception of the game. Yeah. Punts have been pretty impressive, and this is Ooh, another that's impressive a long one. one. Very long punt. Better hope that one gets no. That's going to stop short of the end zone. Wow. Impressive stuff. That is, I believe, inside the five. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be around the one or two yard line. They're trying to get uh, them to jump. They do have their timeouts. Litcher out of the gun. They're going to snap it. Back to pass. Throws to his right. And it is almost caught. Should have been caught. It was right in the hands of Pantera, and he dropped it, and it's a turnover on downs. Oh, turnover on downs right at the, around the 10-yard line. High formation in the backfield for Foxborough. Angelini, the up back. That's a run up the middle. And oh, he's in. Into the end zone for the touchdown goes Lincoln Moore. The big power back gets the job done. Snap, kick, and it's through, and Foxborough takes the 11 point lead. Litcher out of the gun, Karatza in the backfield, takes the snap, looks up the middle, throws oh, up the middle, down. has Karatza, and yes, they blew the whistle right away. They're going to call him down, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. And that's about going to do it. Yeah, that's, that's tough. And for the fact that this team lost 29 seniors last year, had 17 open starting spots available to see a defense like this. Yeah, that's amazing. That really Unbelievable. is. Unbelievable. Yeah, imagine what he can do next year with, with a lot of these same kids. Right. And that's going to do it. An unfortunate loss from the Hillers, but they'll pick themselves off and get ready for Norwood next week right here at David M. Hughes Field. On Tuesday, September 27th, Hiller Boys Soccer battled Dedham in a TVL matchup. No scoring took place until the final minutes of the first half. D. McKelly. Milo Golombiewski. Good pass over to D. McKelly. Shot! And it's in! What a good setup by Golombiewski. D. McKelly pops it in. 1 0 Hillers.
Peter DiMichele, Nets of Beauty, assisted by Sean Golombeski. A 1-0 Hillers lead, and it would continue into the second half. But later on, it would change. Airs it out. Towards the net, and that is in. Oh, no, it went off the side of the net. Or hold on. What's the call here? Now it's a goal, it wasn't. Michael McDonough with the long boot. And the Dedham goalkeeper scores a goal. Unreal. What a boot that was by the captain. It's at 1836 left to go in the first half, or second half, it makes it a one to one game. Dedham ties the game up at one apiece with just about 18 and a half minutes left, and the game would end up ending in a 1-1 draw. Hillers and Dedham pick up a playoff point. Hillers improved to 4-1 and 2. Dedham is 5-0 oh, and 2. Dedham picked up the win over Hiller Girls Soccer 1-0. Hillers fall to 3-3-2 on the season. Hiller Golf stayed perfect with a 232-277 win over Medway on Tuesday. Hillers improved to 9-0 on the season. Also that night, Hiller Girls Volleyball hosted Norton. Steve Sweetapple and Matt Clancy were on the call of what was a very exciting matchup. Just need two, Kelly. Nice knuckle Great ball. Great serve. Kept alive by Norton. Come on. Come on, girls. Sienna. Use it. Kelly. Graber. Emily, point. another big swing. Set point for Hopkinton. Way to battle. Strickland serving for the set. Floats it in. Tipped over, Graber's there, Strickland dumps it. Goes for the dump. And yes, he's got it, got it. That's it, Hopkinson Heads takes up the first play. set. 27-25, girls are gonna switch sides and we'll end once again. Norton serving for set point. See if the Hillers can get a side out here. And there's, nope, wow. hit the line. Down the line, That's what it. placement. Norton takes the second set, 25-21. We're gonna have bonus bo bonus volleyball tonight, man. Free ball, get in rotation. Outside, oh no, they go to Sarah in the middle. It's a deep and Vitorino's there. Wow, got over. Oh, I think we'll have a chance. No. Oh, nice hustle. And that's the set. I didn't even see that. Norton takes the third set, 25 to 18. Santangelo. Good swing. Santa, Santa. Nice job. Bell Santa saves Bell. it. Kelly gets it deep. Oh. Free ball in rotation. Let's go. Kelly, back set, yep, Murabito. Yep, yep, yes, yep. that's it. Hopkinton takes the fourth set, 25-21. Sienna, Emily bump set. Hardenbrook keeps it alive. Abby's there. Come on. Bump set. That's it, Emily. Oh, no. Long. Oh. That's it. Hopkinton Woo! takes the fifth set. 15 to 13 for a 3-2 victory. Hard fought win over the Norton Lancers. Hopkinton takes the back and forth battle in the fifth set. 3 to 2 and improves to 5 and 4 on the season. Norton falls to 6 and 3. 
On Wednesday, September 28th, Hopkinton Hillers Unified Basketball hosted their first game of the season. It was a great back and forth battle between both teams with some great shooting and skills on display. And the Hillers would take the 42-37 win over the Lancers. Congratulations to both teams on a game well played. Also on September 28th, Hiller Golf defeated Westwood by one stroke, 237 to 238. Hiller is improved to 10 and 0 with the win. Westwood falls to 6-2 and 1 on the season. What a great battle on the golf course. On Friday, September 30th, Hiller Girls Soccer hosted Bellingham in a TVL matchup and got the scoring going early and often. And there's a goal by Nina Zaganatis to start things off. So Nina strikes for the Hillers. 36-21 left to go. Good start for Hopkinton, who takes the one to nothing lead here in these early minutes. Clark charging back in, shot, two nothing Hillers. What a beauty of a shot there. Closing in, Clark out in front, shot in, three nothing Hillers. Nina sends it up. There goes Recupero, up to Clark. Clark, one on one with the keeper, takes a shot, and it's in. With ease, Georgina Clark already with the hat trick in this one. Hillers took the win over Bellingham, 7-1, to one, and improved to four wins, three losses, and a tie on the season. Brothers Sean and Colin. And lastly, we have number 75, Justin Sokol, with his parents, Mark and Mary, and his brother, Dick. Congratulations once again to our senior members of the cheer team and the varsity football team. Looking to his left, and he's brought down. In on the sack, Charlie Petruni. But a 38-yard field goal. Or excuse me, a 33-yard field goal. It's blocked. And it's a loose ball. Who's going to get to it? And it'll be covered up at around the 45. And that is going to do it for this quick-moving first quarter. So both teams kind of just feeling each other out. And at the end of one, it is a scoreless game. And I agree with this decision. You're in Hiller territory. This could be a momentum boost if you are able to get the yardage you need. Steve's back to pass, throws to his left, hauled in by Kelly. And Kelly will not get very far, and it's a turnover on downs. In on the stop, guess who? Carlos Linton. Two and a half minutes left. I think they're going to have to work a little quicker, though. Yeah, they're approaching midfield. And last week, we did see them kind of run out of time at the end of the half. Up the middle, holding by Petruni at the 40. And he's going to take it up to about the 26-yard line before he's brought down. Litcher out of the gun. Draws in the backfield. Takes the snap. Looking to his right. Throws to his right. Oh, that's interference. Incomplete, but that is going to draw flags. 
blatant pass interference there. In a close game like this, you don't come up with points here. That could really uh, affect you going forward. And this is going to be a handoff. Carrazzo working his way up the right side. Did he get in? He's right on the goal. Touchdown. And it looks like he did. Touchdown, Joe Carrazzo. The snap and the kick. And it is right through. No problem. Hillers lead it 7 to nothing. Field is Dwyer finding a little room. And he's going to be brought down by a pair of defenders. And on the stop is Paul Litcher along with Andrew Budden. What a pretty good gain there, but time does expire. And that is the end of the half. And in the backfield, Steve's under center, takes the snap, hands it off, run up the middle. That's going to be enough. A good ball. The ball came up, but I think he was down. I believe he was down. That was Dwyer on the carry, the sophomore. And they will indeed mark him down at the 45. And that is the correct call. He yeah, I, I felt that he was down. I didn't hear a whistle, though. Oh! Maybe it wasn't the correct call. I thought that knee may have been down, but there was no whistle. The refs talked it out. So yeah. you know what? Hillers have the ball. That's the correct call. I, yeah, I, I, had, I heard no whistle. Now, the shame is... I didn't they, either. I just thought he was down. He picked it up on his feet. He ran it in the end zone. It's a shame he doesn't get the, the, the yards. Go for it. Garaza lined up in the left slot. Litcher takes a snap out of the pistol. Throws to his right. It's intercepted. Wide open field in front of him. And here he goes across midfield. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. All the way to the end zone. And that is about a 99-yard return after the interception least be able to maintain the lead out of the pistol takes the snap throws up the middle and it's dropped by his intended target Casey Sheehan but you're gonna line it up out of the gun Carraza in the backfield and he will hand it off up the middle fighting his way forward and that'll be enough for the first down as he makes it to about the 43 I think that's a big first down you, know, you get the ball right back you're, you get to the third down, it's tough. You, you get the conversion, now you feel like you're moving again. And that will wrap up the third quarter. And the momentum shifts, the constant momentum shifts just continue. And at the end of three, it's Hopkinton seven, Norwood six. Line it up out of the gun. Carras in the backfield. Three receivers spread out to his left. He'll take the snap, looks to his left. He'll throw to his left, and it's going to be a nice gain here by Charlie Petruni. Clock continuing to tick down. Hillers have had the ball for nearly eight minutes of game time. Out of the gun, he'll hand it off. Carraza getting the call, bounces off a defender, takes a near side towards the goal line. And he touchdown. is in for the touchdown! Joe Carraza! Huge run for Carraza. 13 yard touchdown run. The snap, the kick, and it is no good. Turned into about a 14, 15 yard pickup. We'll stick with the I formation. And they'll stick with the run. He runs into a wall, bounces off tackle, takes an air side, finds a little room. And he is brought down at around the 40. I formation once again, why not? Motion right to left. Dwyer up the middle and right in. And Norwood has made it a 13 to 12 game. And once again, they're coming out of the I formation with Dwyer in the backfield. Motion right to left. And it is going to be taken into the end zone. And that is Joey McHugh. It was a pretty good fake. And McHugh takes it into the end zone. And they make it a 14 to 13 Norwood lead. For the Hillers, you got Joe Carrazza and Paul Litcher. And they're gonna put this one over to about the 15. Here's the return. To the near side, some open space. Oh. It's gonna be a good return. Maybe a really good return. Paul Lincher into Norwood territory.
Ferrari. In motion, right to left, Sam Pantera. Takes the snap. And play action up the middle as a target that's caught. Into the end zone goes Charlie Petruni. Touchdown, Ellers. What a great play. They've been feeding Carraza the whole game. They fake it to him on the play action, and Charlie Petruni is wide open down the middle for the touchdown. That's a great play. A 24-yard touchdown reception by Charlie Petruni. And they will. And it's going to be a keeper up the middle. He's close. Did not make and he it. did not get in. It's going to remain a 19 to 14 game with 58 seconds left to go. Steve's going to line it up out of the gun. This time he'll put Dwyer to his right. Three receivers spread out to his right. This is the last hope for Norwood to extend this drive. Takes the snap. Under pressure, drag down! Justin Sokol with the game clincher! Yeah, he, he's, he's just clinched the game right there. You're absolutely right. Canty was double teamed, so Justin Sokol's got a single defender on him. He easily overpowers him for the sack. What a takedown by Sokol. And it'll be a turnover on downs, and the Hillers will come up with the win here tonight. On Monday, October 3rd, Hiller Boys Soccer took on Norton and got the scoring going early and often. Robella Breski takes it. Nice throw in right into the box, shot, and that is in. And Peter DeMichele nearly ripped out the back of the net with that shot. one nothing Hillers. Finds Golombeski. Here he goes. Approaching. Sends it out. Di Michele shot in. Second goal of the game by the captain, Peter Di Michele. And what a great setup by Sean Golombeski. Shatish Kumar. Here's Bashad. Bashad rips a shot and it's in. What a beauty. No stopping that one. Golombeski steals it away. Here he goes. Shot in. John Golombeski, the senior, getting in on the fun. 4 0 Hillers. It comes at 28 36 left. Just five seconds following Mashad's goal. Hillers take the win, eight to nothing over the Lancers. Hopkinton improves to six one and two on the season. Hiller girls soccer was on the road versus Norton, and the game ended in a two to two draw. Also on Monday, October third, Hiller field hockey battled Hopedale. Hillers led two to nothing heading into the second half. Aren't you trying to sneak it out? Takes the shot, and it's in! Sanidi, what a touch. It looked like it was maybe going to hit the post and go out, but it deflected in, and the Hillers lead it 3 to nothing. End of the third quarter. Approaching. Perlov trying to get in there. Takes it, makes it! Right at the... End of the quarter, still eight seconds left, but Camille Perlop puts it in to make it four to nothing. Raiders trying to clear. Killers have other ideas. Is Perlov in again? Unbelievable. Just unstoppable. Five nothing Hillers. Put the pressure on. Souza kicked away, and then it's put in. Hopkinton would take the win six to nothing and improve to five, two and three on the season. Also, Hiller Girls Volleyball picked up a three to one road win on the road at Millis on Monday, October 3rd. On Thursday, October 6th, Hiller Girls Soccer hosted Millis. 
Hillers led one to nothing into the second half. Trying to work it upfield. She's cut off. White sends it over. Out in front. Skiba takes the shot. And that is in. What a boot by Kylie Skiba. She makes it two to nothing. Hillers. Clark gets there first. Out in front. Approaching. Puts on the move, sends it over and in. Georgina Clark grounds it in to the net for goal number three. One. They kept the pressure on all game long and now they're starting to tire out these defenders. We do have a Millis player down. And that is in. That was Georgina Clark once again putting it in off a nice cross. And it's 4 nothing. We did not get to see her pretty much the whole second half of the season as that is going to end up in long distance. Wow. It didn't look like it was going to go that far, but it certainly did. And Emily Scaff makes it 5 to nothing. The junior. Hopkinton would take the game 5 to nothing and improve to 5-3 and 2 on the season. Hiller Unified Basketball hosted Norwood on Friday, October 7th. Both teams played a great game and the Hillers fell just short as Norwood took the win 43 to 37. Congratulations to all on a terrific game. Hiller Boys and Girls Cross Country celebrated senior night. Hopkinton Boys Cross Country finished the regular season with a record of 5-0. Girls Cross Country finished regular season play with a record of 4-1. Congratulations to the Boys Cross Country team as they also clinched the TVL Large title. On October 8th, Hiller Girls Soccer also captured a Saturday afternoon 5-2 win over Walpole at home. The win was the team's second straight as they improved to six wins, three losses, and two ties on the season.